robotics competition and this year's game, Rack and Roll. The game is played by two alliances, a red alliance and a blue alliance of three teams each. These alliances are located at the end of the field from where they operate their robots. The center of the field is occupied by the scoring structure known as the rack. Three levels of scoring locations, known as spiders, are located within the rack. Each spider hangs from a series of chains that allows it to move freely if it's impacted by a robot or game piece. The game pieces are inflatable plastic pool tubes. There are three types of game pieces. Keepers are placed during the autonomous period. Ringers are placed during the tele-operated period and score points for the alliance. And the black spoiler tubes are used to negate the effects of the ringers. The objective of the game is to place the keepers and the ringers into rows, which can be either horizontal or vertical. The match starts with a 15 second autonomous period. Robots can use onboard sensors to help locate target lights, which will help identify the location of the scoring targets. As the autonomous period ends, robots must drop any keepers still in their possession. The human operators then step forward and take control of the robots. Robots return to their home zones to retrieve ringers from the human players. Or can drive to the far end of the field to retrieve ringers that are waiting in the opponent's home zone. The ringer is then strategically placed on the rack and the robots attempt to make as many posts as possible. Here we see a red robot placing a robot placing a ringer completing a vertical row of three and a horizontal row of two. His alliance partner then places another ringer, extending the row to three. Black spoiler tubes are placed on the rack and used to negate the effects of the ringers. Unlike the other game pieces, spoilers can be moved and be picked up and relocated to cover any other ringers on the rack. As the match draws to a close, robots will race back to their home zone. Bonus points are earned for each of the Alliance robots that are elevated off the floor. 15 points for 4 inches off the floor. That is crazy. The final score is determined by the length and the number of rows created by game pieces and then added to the bonus points. In this example, blue squeaks out a win over red of 90 to 84.